Manitoba Liquor Marts presents Great Tastes of Manitoba. Great Tastes is brought to you by foodmanitoba.ca. Local farms, local foods. Welcome and thank you for joining us. This is Great Tastes of Manitoba. My name's Ace Burpee again. Appreciate you tuning in. This is going to be, dare I say, one of the most delicious shows in the history of Great Tastes of Manitoba. It is Manitoba canola growers. Ellen Pruden joins us. We are going to eat more veggies and mm -hmm. fish, literally. Yes. And then Ben Rush is joining us from Manitoba Liquor Marts, a product expert. He is going to attempt to pair all these dishes. He's a big fish guy. He loves fish, so he's excited to get to work. First, though, run down what we're going to be making today. Okay, well, we have the pan-fried pickerels and baked chips, just delicious, all using some local ingredients. And then we have salmon cakes with the green green salad, super easy to make. Cool. And then we're going to end off with shrimp and a bok choy stir-fry. Delicious. Right. So there was something, Ben, in, I think it was the shrimp one, there was an ingredient or something yeah. you wanted to know about. I was just curious about what the uh, the mirin is, the, the one ingredient I was really yeah. curious about. Well, mirin is, um, it's a, it's a, like a sake, but with a higher sugar content. So you could use sake in the dish, but this one has a bit of a higher sugar content. Awesome. I can work with that. You got it? Oh, yeah. You get to work. We'll see you back here in a right bit. On. Right on. This is good work. Good luck. <laughs> okay. I'm telling you right now, we're starting okay. with, this is going to seem like, the preparation is simple. Yes. I'm starting with a pan fried pickerel, all right? But then there's a couple twists which will make this, I'm telling you, one of the most delicious things ever. I love it. It's simple, simple stuff. Yeah. So, you know, everyone has different ways of doing their pan fried pickerel. We're just doing straight Everyone flour. has different ways of catching pickerel as well. Uh, true. Mine tend to work. What? And so what are you, jig? Are I have, you back Here's casting? what I have. I just, I gave a couple secrets to the crew. Okay. I'll say this, two words, tube jig. You figure out which order they go in. Oh, yes. I know what you do. <laughs> well, this one is super simple. We're using flour, salt, and pepper. Okay. That's it. And, you know, but you can add lemon zest, but we just want the, the fish to speak for itself. So we're going to heat you know up what? our pan. You know what? I'll say this. Yes? When you cook pickerel yeah. in canola, yeah. Over other oils or deep frying or whatever, it never overpowers no. the pickerel, that's which right. I like. You want it to come through. I mean, that's why we like pickerel because well, it that, tastes awesome. And it's it has that nice natural sweetness. Yeah. And then canola is really mild. It's perfect for right. cooking fish. Yeah. Don't bury it. Don't bury no. the fish. That's why we're making. Nice yeah. and light. So we're using cast iron pan, which is fantastic. Great shore lunch that you could be doing here. Yeah. You want to heat up your pan and then add in your oil. Okay. And we're going to take our fish and we're just going to dredge it lightly. Just like that, nothing too much. Shake it off, and then nice. That's it. You want that sizzle, and so it's going to cook for about two minutes or so, um, and then we're going to flip it. But don't touch it. Like let it get in there. Let it caramelize. Let let the brown or the flour start to brown, and it's going to be delicious. So All we're right. just going to let it sit. So baked fries, like who We're doesn't love baked fries? We're going to bake fries? some fries. Now, of course, if you want to deep fry them, that's always great too. Works wonderful with canola oil for deep frying. This is mandolin, so you get super even thickness I of you, fries. I would advise you to use a guard, because <laughs> yes. there's this woman I know yeah. who cut off a bunch of her thumb yeah. doing this. I know. And she she's, really standing, known she's standing right beside me. <laughs> She well, did. Alan was severely, well, not severely no. injured, but, but use the guard use always. The guard. And then, but we have even thickness for that. Now, the other trick, if you don't have a mandolin, but you can pick them up for you know not a lot of money, cut off an end so you have a stable base, uh -huh. just like that. And then you and you want a sharp knife, and then you can just run down and try to get even thickness. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna put in our potatoes into the bag. I have um, Herb de Provence, and so that's a mixed herbs. It has lavender, savory, um, a whole bunch of basil. You're gonna add that in. Nice. And then we're gonna add in our canola oil. And these are gonna bake at 425 for about 15 minutes. So they're a nice, crisp French fry. I'm gonna smush, I'm a decent yes. smusher. Okay, good. It's yeah. not sealed, so just be careful okay. there. Fish is looking good. So while we bake these fries and while we um, pan fry our pickerel, you're like, okay, so what else? Wait till you see 
This little <laughs> simple sauce. I don't know who came up with this, but it's brilliant. Well, it's what we do in our family. Yeah, it's so good. It's so there's this simple sauce that Ellen's going to let us in on a secret family recipe, okay. and it's gold. So you got it massaged. Good. We're going to put it on a parchment paper lined cookie sheet. Again, 420. And then the key when you're doing any type of baked fries, let them have the space. They need room, and that's how they get nice and crunchy. Yeah, let them breathe. Don't overcrowd them. That don't looks, smother. Don't smother them. Okay, so for the secret chips. sauce, yeah, are you ready? Watch this. This is good. You can make a homemade aioli or take mayo. So we have a canola-based mayo. Now, if you can squeeze in uh, both lemons in, so okay. we're gonna make it be a little runnier, just a little thinner. Just normal mayo. Yeah, just combined with combined with lemons, and then oh, see, look at the power. I'm sure. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Awesome. All right. Okay. Okay. So stir gently. Sure. And, and then here's then, the secret. There's no so way. We're adding in hot sauce. This is some sriracha. Yes. And so you can have it as spicy or as not. Are you kidding me right now? No. And it's so great. So when we have it with the fries, you can even dip the fish in. I with would. It. I was just gonna say I would dip the fries and or the fish or both or all together. And it's just fantastic. Unbelievable idea. So let's see how our fish is That doing. is pan fried pickerel. We've got the homemade uh, baked fries, a homemade secret recipe. Can I just take a oh, tiny yes. piece of this yes. pickerel? Oh, look, it's perfect. Oh, this is delicious. Isn't that great? That's incredible. I know, it's super simple, super easy. Ellen, and that's a hit. That's your best one ever. Thanks, I'm Ace. not even kidding. <laughs> We're on a roll. We're coming right back with Ellen and the Manitoba Canola Growers. Stick around.